This might be the best video you watch on the law of assumption today, okay? When it comes to manifesting with the law of assumption, this is a key understanding. And the understanding is that the feeling is the secret, right? But the feeling is not meant by an emotion. So it's not your emotions that manifest. And I think this is a big misconception that people maybe got from the law of attraction community or whatever it may be, that you have to be this high vibe or high, high heightened emotion all the time to manifest something you desire, right? Look at all the things that you currently have in your life right now and notice how you don't have to be in any sort of state of being or state of mind or, or, or have this emotion for you to still have these things. You're holding your phone right now in your hand, but that, you're not feeling necessarily a specific emotion while you're holding it. It's rather a feeling, you know, that it's in your hand, right? So this is key understanding. When, when we're manifesting the law of assumption, the feeling is meant by a knowingness that you have that which you desire to be or have, right? And the way we get to having this feeling is either through repetition, persisting in this new ideal, um, and adding sort of sensory vividness. If we're using imagination, if we're imagining, you know, through visualization per se, we want to add the sensory vividness to these things because that helps create that feeling, you know. If you want to, if you want to picture yourself, you know, on a holiday somewhere, you don't have to get into all the details of the the scene per se, but you could rather just imagine yourself smelling something that you would smell if you were there. You know, maybe you want to be by the beach somewhere. Maybe in your mind's eye, put yourself in a position where you can smell the, the salt in the ocean or you can smell the whatever it may be in the air. Because that would imply you were there, right? If you're using affirmations per se, you have to be, you can't be double-minded with what you're thinking. If you want to think of something, persist in that new thought, right? Be mindful that when you're saying, you know, a lot of people use I am statements, be mindful that when you're saying it, you're not saying it, you know, you may be saying, I am this or I am that. Be mindful that you're not saying, I hope I'm this or I hope I'm that, right? Be mindful that you're actually saying, I am this as a claim. Think of your affirmations rather as a present tense claim you're making. That you are this now or I am this now, you know? Another good method of doing this to bypass some sort of resistance is to actually ask yourself, why am I this now? Why why do I have this now? What, and because it's almost like a question, and it bypasses the how it happened, because you're you're skipping the resistant element of the thing that a lot of people um, encounter when doing the law of assumption is they get met with this resistance of like, well, how is it going to come about, or how am I going to attract this, or how am I going to get this? So when you go straight to the well, why do I have this, or why, you know, why am I now this? It bypasses that, right? So the key essentially is to, if you're, if you're using visualization is to, is to, with your five senses, imagine something that would imply that desire is fulfilled. Um, if you're using your affirmations, be persistent with it and say them as like bold sort of claims. Um, and the other thing is you can use, why am I this now? Or why do I have this now? As a way to bypass the reasoning mind um, when it starts to creep in and starts to ask these questions of like, well, how am I this or how am I that? Yeah. If you haven't already, make sure you grab a copy of my audiobook. The link's in my bio. Um, I go into really great detail there, great depth there. Um, and it will, it will help you get a greater understanding of the law of assumption as well as practical techniques and tips that um, can help you out for sure. Yeah, it's been your boy.